Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video where I have a box full of the new Charlotte Tilbury matte eyes to mesmerize. These surprised us all yesterday. They just popped up on her website for early access. I will link them down below. They still are for early access only, but you can find them via my affiliate links in the description box. So what exactly are these matte eyes to mesmerize and do we need them? Let's find out. So there are five new shades. I picked up three of the new shades to share with you today. According to Charlotte's website, these combine the famous long lasting smoothing powders of my iconic Eyes to Mesmerize cream eyeshadows with a new matte formula. These miracle pots are the secret to a red carpet smoky eye in seconds. These long lasting cream matte eyeshadows are easy to build, blend and wear. They are long wear, smudge proof, waterproof and lasting up to 12 hours with a soft focus finish that feels smooth to the touch. These will set you back £22 or $34 they are made in Italy and I will have a shot of the ingredients list for you up on the screen as I know for lots of people that is a deal breaker. So these have the exact same packaging as her original Eyes to Mesmerize and they look the same size as far as I can tell but it appears the new ones weigh slightly less so they are 0.17 of an ounce versus 0.23 of the shiny original eyes to mesmerize but i think it's essentially the same amount of product they just have a different formula weighs a different amount so i picked up three shades of this new formula to try out today nude cashmere which is a soft nude shade smoky taupe which obviously is a smoky taupe shade no surprises there and chocolate veil which is a soft chocolate shade and there they all are there. So let me just share, as I was doing those swatches, it was the first time I'd kind of touched these shadows, felt the formula, felt how they applied and how they pick up and things. Now, initially when I was going to do those swatches, I kind of went to swirl my finger in here, but it literally is very, one, the product is quite far in and I have nails, okay? So that's a tricky situation already. But it just kind of felt like nothing was happening. It's very cold here and these have obviously been in a van probably overnight, who knows where, and I think they just got really cold and I couldn't really get any, they just felt really hard. So bear in mind, if that happens to you when you open these and you're kind of running your finger and you're thinking, oh my God, these have dried out or what's going on here? They may just need to warm up, be in your home for a little while, you know, show them some love at first. I still did find I needed to scoop them out with a nail, a claw, a talon to do these swatches. They absolutely pick up fine with a brush as you'll see when I get to my demo but that's just something I noticed is that they just feel nothing at all like the original Eyes to Mesmerize. They are a completely different beast. If you didn't get on with the originals these might be right up your street. They are nowhere near as wet or creamy. They feel like something I have no words for. Much firmer, much drier, not a creamy wet feel of a shadow that I would expect from a cream shadow. These are like something completely different and a totally new experience for me. So that's just something I noticed. Let's get on with the application and demo and see how they apply. The proof is always in the pudding after all. So I think I'm gonna try a couple of different sort of methods and brushes. I'm gonna start off using Chocolate Veil with my Arafa 32, which is a bit like a tiny little kabuki brush. I think this is going to pick it up really softly. It has actually quite picked up quite a lot on there and I'm gonna sort of buff this into the lid and then try to blend up. I did note on the website it does say that they dry quickly to work quickly and get your blending in quite quickly one eye at a time or you might have some trouble. So this is going on quickly and easily. I am kind of trying to get a bit of a wriggle on but it's blending really nicely. It's kind of gave me quite a nice amount of pigment to start with. Let's see how we can kind of build that up. It does feel strange. It's not anything like the 
original eyes to mesmerize. It just feels completely different, much drier of a formula. Not There's no wetness. It just feels like a sort of, not at all like a powder either, but a much stiffer, drier formula. I'm just going to switch over to my Sony G. What is this? The worker brush just to blend the edges. Okay, and I'm going to use my refer 26 and just apply some of this running it under the lower lash line. See how we like this as a one and done shadow. It's so strange. It just doesn't feel, there's no moistness, no stickiness, no tackiness at all. It is just like, it just literally feels like my skin still. It doesn't feel like there's anything there. I do think these are going to wear really nicely because they are sort of really set down. So I don't think you'll have issues like creasing or fading as much as you would the sort of more wetter, like typical cream shadow formulas. This is performing much more like an eyeshadow base or a primer to me. I mean, that's like the easiest, quickest kind of one and done shadow look you could hope for really. I didn't have like, yes, I feel like it's it's true that you need to work quickly. It is, it does dry down, but it wasn't like alarming. I wasn't finding it like drying up as I'm trying to move it and it refusing to move. So that is a cheeky bonus. I actually really like this brush. I wasn't sure how that's gonna go. So I am gonna use the same brush on this side. And this is the shade Smoky Taupe. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna just start buffing this onto the lid and up into the crease. Oh, I love this shade. This is such a gorgeous, like cool toned, exactly as per the name smoky taupe. You are going to need the teensiest amount of this. It's just not even like making any kind of impact in the pot because of the feel. These are so different. I, I cannot tell you something this reminds me of. It's just completely different. They don't remind me of the MAC paint pots. They just are quite unique as far as the formula to anything I have tried before. And again, running my refer brush underneath. This is, sorry, the 26 large pencil brush, basically. I mean, again, it's taken absolute seconds. And this is exactly the kind of eye makeup that I would do, like when I worked in an office. This is exactly that sort of one and done, one shadow that you can kind of build up a bit of depth. But it's quite natural, it's very easy and quick perfect for those mornings when you're running a little late and you've got about five minutes. Just try and build up the coverage here to see kind of how it builds on itself. Now that that initial layer has kind of dried down, is it going to start picking itself back up or crumbling or anything like that? I'm just really interested to see. I mean, no, unproblematic. It's what we like to see over here. Okay, Charlotte. Okay. Something new, just what we like to see. Now, obviously you could put a bit of bronzer in the crease, but I just wanted to stick to just using these shadows on their own because I feel like these lend themselves beautifully to like a one and done situation. A lot of people are gonna wanna use these as like I said, like a one pot solution to like everyday quick easy makeup so I just wanted to show you them on their own. I am interested someone when I talked about these shadows launching asked whether they thought or they suggested that they thought this would be a great base for the Victoria Beckham lid lusters so I'm just going to try that now and I'm just going to use a finger to tap a bit of the lid luster over the top and see how this works as a sort of shadow base, see how these stick to that kind of impact we get from that. This is the shade Chiffon, by the way, and I'm just tapping a light layer of that all over where I put that shadow. Well, that certainly 
works. Like I said, it's not, there's no tackiness or stickiness, so it's not necessarily gonna amp up the shine of these shadows. It's not gonna give you sort of more payoff as a eyeshadow primer would, because there's no tackiness, there's no wetness, there's no stick to the shadows. They're just like a base. So it is giving us some base color. So it is actually quite dulling. That shade chiffon is usually quite bright, was actually this is dulling it a little because the shadows that I'd used underneath the creams are quite dark. So, but you know, it's now giving me a really nice, soft, subtle look to those shadows and they stuck and applied really nicely to them. So you can absolutely do that. I think that would work really nicely. Initially, before I had these in my hands, I thought, Where's she gone? That the nude cashmere shade would be like a great eyeshadow primer. And I thought that I would really like this as like a base, but I'm just, I don't really like the texture of it for that because it's just that, re it's, it's really hard to describe. There's no slip, there's no moistness at all to the formula. So to sort of buff it over your entire lid, I mean, you certainly can, you could do that. 100% but I just think you know in order to get your brush in there for me I want something a bit wetter a bit more moist for an eyeshadow primer or for an eyeshadow base but I will try this one out in that way and we'll see so these definitely I feel like have a bit of staining I did think on my arm where I swatched earlier I couldn't get them off there's definitely some staining going on which doesn't really cause me any issues, but I think it will, some people will not like that. So you can't just sort of run your finger in there. You've got to almost like either use a brush or like use your nail to sort of scoop it out because running your finger in there is just not going to pick up any product. It's almost like you need to buff it and warm it up. And as I'm kind of doing this on the lid, it is warming up, it's kind of melting and becoming creamier, but actually in the pot itself, maybe it's because it's so cold here. Maybe if I was living in a warmer location, that would not have happened. I'm not overly sure about the shade on me. It's kind of giving a bit, a bit of a gray, gray, I don't know, yeah. I'm not 100% sure this is a great color for me to use all over the lid. It's got a little bit of a, pinky gray color that's not yeah no I'm I'm not convinced by that I'm not convinced by that I'll tell you why it, f it feels too thick and like firm and I can feel it like as it's drying down like I think in in theory yes it does cover my discoloration and it's giving me an even base to work on and it is drying down now but it doesn't feel very nice it feels like heavy on the lid. So I just quickly removed that nude cashmere shade and I'm using my Synergy worker brush just to reapply some of the smoky taupe shades, even myself up a bit just for, you know, so I can look slightly less bonkers for the rest of the day. So I definitely prefer the Refa 32. That is the perfect brush for working with these. I just think it applies a nice light amount and you can kind of work quickly and cover a large area. This worker brush from Sonogy is working beautifully as well. I'm just having to kind of dip back in because it, it applies them in a lighter way, which you, you may, there's pros and cons, you may prefer to be able to apply a lighter amount, but for, this is a good look, isn't it? This is what happens when you do your makeup in strange orders. Okay, so I've just added on a coat of the Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes mascara and now what I've got is just a very natural very easy like wash of color on the lids with that chiffon shade from Victoria Beckham's lid lusters just patted over the top to give me a bit of shine to the lid which obviously is an option if you miss and you just want some of that shimmer this tapped over beautifully and I think this will work really easily with any other shimmery shadows you wanted to just pat over the top if you want some if you need that shimmer in your life but no signs of creasing no moving no flaking and I honestly it, in no way does it feel like it's going to crease because they're just not they don't feel slippy enough they don't feel thick enough they don't feel creamy enough to create that issue I think these are going to be 
wear really, really well. Okay, so there you have it. I've used these obviously in a few different ways. The only way I didn't use them today that they kind of suggest on the website they can be used as a liner. I'm just, I can't really do liner at the best of times and I'm certainly not equipped with the skills to use these as like a gel liner and it's just not really my kind of typical style of makeup. These for me beautifully serve the one and done shadow look. They are just perfect for that. If you don't like a lot of shimmer, if you don't find shimmer flattering on your lids and you'd rather just, you're like me, I this was my office, my standard office look used to just be like buffing some bronzer on the lid and into the crease for every day. That was kind of my go-to and these are perfect for that. They, they aren't creasing at all in my lines. They've been on now, the first eye has been on probably for sort of 45 minutes at this point not a sign of creasing and it really just doesn't feel like it could crease they're just not sort of moist and creamy enough to do that they are they are they literally feel like skin it feels very smooth just like her website said that claim is definitely true they feel completely dried down very smooth and I just don't see them creasing. They have a really nice coverage with a very small amount. I think this is gonna last you a very long time but they do only have a shelf life of six months. So that's just something I noticed on the packaging that's worth just considering because obviously I could see these drying up especially if you're using them a lot and opening and shutting the lid. You are only gonna use a tiny amount. I mean, you can barely see that I've touched it, them at all. So I don't think you're gonna get through the pot before it expires if that's something that matters to you. It doesn't to me. We know not expiry dates in this house, unless it's like milk, you know, for obvious reasons. I found them very easy to work with, very idiot proof, very beginner friendly, no issues whatsoever. They, it does state to work quickly on the website that they dry down quickly and they definitely do. It's not like immediate so you have to have a panic attack but you do need to go one eye at a time, you know, blend as much and as quickly as you can. Don't hang about, don't expect to have forever and then be able to get a perfect blend but I had no issues with that. I felt like I had enough time that I needed to get it wear and looking how I wanted the right amount of opacity and a lovely blend that I found just super easy. So yeah, I think these will be for you if you like a nice matte, simple one and done shadow. These are gonna be great. They are gonna give you a colored base if you want something to tap like I did a shimmer on top of. They aren't, I don't think, going to enhance shimmers like say, a uh, primer would, an eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow break base that has a tacky finish that, you know, damp shadows do apply with like more kapow. It's not gonna give you that because it does dry down and it's just like applying on bare skin. That's kind of the effect you're gonna get. They adhered beautifully, the shadow adhered beautifully, stuck beautifully, and it looked really pretty on top of them, but it's not gonna give you an extra like oomph to your shadows if that's what you're expecting them to do. Also the way that I used the nude cashmere shade as like a primer all over the eye, I didn't like that. It just felt too heavy for me. It felt heavy and thick and like I could feel it on my lid much more so than when I use concealer set with powder if that makes sense. So I'm not going to use them in that way. I just didn't like the feel of it on my eye. But I think if you were just to use like the nude shade as a base on your lid and maybe buff into the crease, that wouldn't be so bad because that's what I did with the others. But if you want to take this over your entire eye area as I do usually with concealer, I'm just not sure that that's gonna feel nice and potentially it could look heavier throughout the day. It just didn't, it didn't do it for me. So these surprise me. They, I mean, I don't know what I expected because I haven't really used anything like this before, but I think I expected them to be wetter. I expected them to feel creamier. And I don't know, I just don't think I expected to in any way like them or see myself using them. Whereas actually I can totally see myself using them. I love this super natural, easy, like one and done look like on a school run day, on a running chores, buff a bit of something in the crease. And I, I, that's kind of my go-to style when I'm not going full glam. So I could see myself reaching for these more so than I would necessarily the originals just because I'm not a huge fan of cream eyeshadows. And so I wasn't expecting to like these, but these are 
definitely different to what I was expecting. I will say that I quickly ran off camera and removed the nude shade with an oil-based cleanser and it came off really easily, but I initially tried to remove it just with a makeup wipe in between while I was filming and that was tricky, it was hard. It wasn't easy to take it off, it wasn't really coming off and it was making my eye a bit sore. So I think these are gonna be a little tricky to remove. I think they'll come off easily with oil-based cleanser, but they might also stain. I did see some a bit of staining on this eye and also on my arm where I did swatches. I have scrubbed this and it's not coming off. So I think that serves well for like the longevity, but not so well if you don't want your eyes to be stained, I mean. Nope. <laughs> so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.